ready to apply the product, you want to work with your roller. We use 18 inch, 3 8 inch nap, high quality rollers. The rollers are lint free, however we still you know, tell people to use uh, tape to de-lint the roller. So if I can ask your help, if you can hold this piece of tape, what we do is we roll over the sticky side of the tape to pull off any loose fibers. So it's like a lint brush. Correct. Correct. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. No readers. I do say I could buy like three or four oh, things okay. at a time. We also <laughs> have the I hot used to get four or five hundred dollars worth of glasses and I do the same thing, so now I just that crap. We also have the hot dog rollers. The hot dog rollers we use, we'll get another piece of tape. That's primarily what that blue tape's for, right? For cuts. Paint a face for edging. Yeah. Masking off things. So we want to delint the roller to pull off any loose fibers. So you have that for the, this is used for edging and getting around uh, toilets and bathrooms or different uh, areas that you need to do. I'd like to, you, you guys, you sent some of those too, right? I'm up there on the, yeah. okay. So when we dip this roller in, you want to thoroughly soak this roller into this tub, mm -hmm. just getting the product to flow over this roller. Because the first couple times that you dip this roller in, it's still dry. Right. So you want to make sure you get it thoroughly soaked. So now once you've done that, we're going to just take this, come to a little area that you're working, start a little W, come back to the beginning of the W, and slowly spread the product out for that W. And just come to the next section. Again, let the product flow over the roller. Start a little W, and then slowly work out and spread out that W. You don't have to overwork the coating. Let the roller do the work. I'm not putting, applying any pressure. I'm just as Bruce said, I'm letting the roller do the work. Let me do it. Yep. Oh, you're buddy. started to spread it out from back over here, you're not spreading out as much, and this is the area that has more. So you just slowly work it out, work it out 
forward and back. And then one thing I do is I always make one final straight forward, straight back. I pick it up, straight forward, straight back. It's just a technique I do, straight forward, straight back. And then I move on to the next section. Again, do a little W in the middle. And I spread this out. Straight forward, straight back to end it.